What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're building a, another transmission. So this is another R150F out of a four wheel drive Tacoma. Now this one has been sitting outside for like five years with the shifters off. So we're gonna split this thing apart. Hopefully the hole inside isn't completely full of rust. If it is, we're gonna have to fix that because we gotta get this tranny back together and get this truck back on the road. So this is actually a transmission for a friend. This isn't mine, but I figured it'd be kind of a cool video not knowing what we're getting into as far as the transmission. Yeah, I have done these, but I've never done one that's been sitting outside in the rain and the snow for five years. So let's check it out. Let's strip this thing down. Hopefully we can get this thing back together in one piece without it being full of rust. So you guys know what they look like, your typical R150F. So we already got the transfer case off. He was gonna go flush that out. Um, but yeah, this thing's been sitting outside without the shifters on for like five years. But luckily, just glancing at it here, it doesn't look too rusty in there. I already tried to drain, or I already drained what was in it. And uh, that's about what came out. Looks like they drained the oil out and looks like a bunch of water. Um, luckily, the gear oil is actually very sticky, so it doesn't really wash off too easily. Hopefully, the gears aren't full of rust. So let's get this thing stripped down. You guys know the drill. Pull the belt housing, pull that front cover off, couple clips under there, and then the main bolts around this whole thing. Both side covers come off. All the gears are on this main plate here, and then we can start pressing gears on and off. I did get a whole rebuild kit for it right there. So we're gonna replace all the bearings, the synchros. This thing actually has low miles. They took it apart for something to do with the clutch. I think they were gonna put a new clutch in it. Never ended up doing it, and it sat outside. So we're gonna go through it, give it a fresh rebuild with bearings. I'm not gonna worry about synchros, just because it does have low miles on it. So let's get to work stripping this thing down. All right, guys, we got this thing apart, and surprisingly, for sitting out that long, there is very, very minimal rust on it. There's a little bit here and there. You can see, well, that just wipes right off, but very, very little rust. So this should go pretty easy. You can see there's some crap in there, but I don't even know what that is. It's kind of, looks like a rust, kind of gritty. I don't know, maybe they dumped some sand in here too. Who freaking knows? But either way, what we got to do now is get this. I like to clamp this plate in the vise and then pull all the gears off the back, pull all the shift forks off. Then we can pull both shafts out and start pressing bearings on and off.
There we go guys, we are back together, looking good, working good, shifting, smooth. I guess I didn't really know how it shifted before, but we are good to go. A couple of those bearings did have some play in it, so we should be good to go now with all brand new bearings and seals. Well, I know you guys are probably getting sick of watching me rebuild these trannies. This is what, number four, I believe? I'm getting pretty good at these things. I could probably do it in my sleep now. But either way, my buddy should be happy. We'll give him his tranny back. He can get this truck back on the road. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it didn't bore you too much. I'm gonna wrap this up here. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.